Hi guys, today we're diving straight into a fitness designer with a bunch of killer tips I've got lined up for you. Let's be honest, none of us have got time to read the whole manual on this app. Whether you're just a beginner or you've been using it for years, hopefully these tips and tricks will increase your workflow or they'll just be a bunch of cool things that you didn't know this app could do. Anyway, let's get started with tip number one. If you want to quickly swap your stroke and fill colors around, then go to the color panel and either swipe to the left or the right to change them over. And if you want to remove either the stroke or the fill altogether, then just swipe up. Simple as that. So when you're working with points or nodes, when you're using something like the pen tool, if you double tap on one of the nodes, it will change it from hard to smooth. And if you double tap it again, it will change it back. Quick and easy. So the command controller in the bottom left hand corner of the screen uh, unlocks loads of alternative tool behaviors, but don't forget you can also use finger gestures. So to resize this shape while keeping it in proportion, hold down one finger on the screen. To duplicate it, drag it and hold two fingers down on the screen. I'll link to the Affinity site where it's got every single finger gesture that you might want to use and all the different key commands as well. Have you ever left a path open when drawing a shape? Just drag one node on top of the other to automatically close it up without having to do any other extra steps. You probably know that you can pinch to group layers, but did you know that you can unpinch to ungroup them too? Normally when you combine shapes, they all merge together and you lose the ability to edit the originals. If you select the option key on the command controller and then go to add and the boolean tool it combines the shapes but also reserves the original so you can double tap and move around in case you want to make some future edits which makes it super handy have you got a bunch of background dots that you want to resize but when you do it moves them as well as resizes them well with the move tool selected select on the arrow at the top and select transform separately. So now when we increase the width or the height, it keeps them in place, which is such a time saver. If you can't find a tool because you know the name, but you don't know what icon goes with it, then if you tap the question mark at the bottom right hand corner, you'll get a list of all the tool names and their options based on what you're currently using. So this bit up here will change. At the moment we're on the move tool, so it's giving me a list of what all these options are called. If I go to the pen tool and do the same thing, it will show me and tell me all the options I've got across the top and what their name is. There you go guys, I hope you found those tips useful. If you've got any of your own that you've feel that made a difference in your own workflow then feel free to leave them in the comments below so they can help out other people but other than that thanks for watching and I will see you in my next video